Oh, what's up everyone? Okay, I have some quick updates. So, I haven't been to a movie theater since I've been here. Um, but today we're going to see a movie. I don't even know what movie it is, but a lot of the movies here are in English and have Spanish subtitles if you're watching really recent movies. So I, I didn't know that. So that's kind of motivating because my Spanish still isn't that great. Um, it's definitely better. I can usually kind of get what people are saying and I definitely like, I actually can now respond to people in some situations and I'm getting more comfortable. Um, I definitely feel a sense of guilt that I don't know Spanish um, because the situation that I, I didn't know really that I was going to be in Nicaragua, otherwise I would have studied more Spanish before coming here. And now that I'm here, it's more of a priority that I get like my business stuff situated so that I have stability and regular income than it is that I know Spanish right now. Um, so at the same time, I feel that I, like I want to learn Spanish and I am learning it, but sometimes I get kind of a, a shame or a guilt because I haven't learned it yet. But I know the way my head works, and you know, at first I learn something really slowly. I suck at everything I do at first, but then I can keep getting better, and eventually I learn really quickly. And I'm just, I'll, I'll get there with Spanish soon. Anyway, I got sidetracked. So, uh, it is December here, which is cool. There's a lot of fireworks, like constant fireworks. Like, at least for the past six or seven days. You can't hear any right now, but it's very like. It's pretty cool. And there's people in the streets doing fireworks. There's lots of fireworks. I've never seen, like in the States when they have fireworks, it's for like two or three days and maybe the weekend earlier. This has been like a week straight. And I really like the smell of fireworks, personally. But, okay, so, if, if you guys can see, there's a bunch of like spots on the wall, right? And for some reason I chose to record this video at night, which is probably not the best idea. But, I finished dealing with the sink. So let me flip this real quick and show you. So the legs were all screwed up before. And it's definitely not, it's not a, a wonderful job. You know, there's, there are cracks in the patchwork I did. Um, but I'm not really too worried about that. It's solid enough. And honestly, it was in such bad condition before that even if I do something that's just a temporary fix, I'm like honestly quite happy with that. This part actually turned out pretty well. So I, I bought this piece right here and then I just basically mixed a bunch of concrete or cement in here and then I just plopped this on top of it and like squished it and then squeezed all this out. And the, the, the one hard part was actually doing the, um, oops, sorry. The one hard part was this edge right here because it has to like, the water has to go in here and then drain over there. And that was kind of hard to get it to be like straight. But ultimately, I think, how much did I spend? Um, the bag of cement, which I still have, you can see it behind me. Um, that cost me 395 cords, so about 400 cords, which is like $12. And then the piece right here cost me 250 bucks. So that didn't cost that much to fix. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I have this like white waterproofing paint, so I'm gonna paint this whole thing white and also um, patch up the walls. So you can see that there's all those gray spots. That's from the excess cement I had from mixing it into this thing. Uh, so I reinstalled this part and then I also touched up each of the legs. They, you can obviously tell that they've been touched up by a hand. I didn't really try and make it perfect, but I just wanted to get rid of that like, oh, this is freshly fallen apart, eroded concrete look, you know? So at least this is, this is better than that, and especially once it's painted white, then it's probably gonna look much better. And then I'll also get like the trim behind it, because right now that's kind of the big thing in there, at least in that space, that's creating the darkness. Obviously there's gonna be some darkness from the soil, but now that I've also patched up the holes in the wall, which I'll show you here, so now there's concrete on top of this, right? You can see it where it's all like not white anymore. Um, I, there were holes here, and I just filled them in with concrete just so that I can paint them and so that they're less of an eyesore. And the chilies have not started to grow yet. 
And I'm sorry, I know this lighting like really sucks right now. I really try and record these in the daytime, but a lot of it's based on how I feel, and sometimes I'm just not in the right mood to record a good, enthusiastic video. So I'm kind of at the mercy of when that mood strikes me, and it has been at night, and I apologize for that. Uh, but the chilies are all planted. So here we did something where uh, normally you kind of isolate all the seeds, right? You separate everything, maybe dry it out, do, or just buy seeds, right? If you're in the States, you can just order seeds online. Um, but I saw this video of this guy with tomatoes. I talked about it in the previous video, but it really blew my mind so much. He just, he just cut the tomato up and then just put it in the dirt and then put dirt over it. And I was like, that's so cool. Like, it's so simple. I, I like that. It's like sometimes I think as a, as a Western approach, we tend to, instead of finding a balance or using something that already works, we tend to strip and then kind of put things back. When you could just not remove them in the first place. You know, it's, it's a perfectly viable strategy in a lot of situations. So we're going to see what happens if I just, I literally just cut the chilies in half and then put them in the ground. And there's also some really nasty beans under them, like a foot under them that I buried. The idea is that that's like a fertilizer, but the reality is we cooked a bunch of beans and then, well, we didn't eat them and beans start to get kind of nasty smelling when you don't eat them. And they develop this kind of film and, you know, they get a bit goopy. It's just quite unpleasant. And uh, I felt bad because I wasted food. So I put them in the garden so that I didn't waste it. I guess. I mean, I still wasted it. I didn't eat it, but at least something's happening with it. I, I don't know. I'm going to tell myself that it's fertilizer. It's just, it's, it's easier that way. Aside from that, I've also been putting coffee grounds in here, um, but that's about it. I know that there's definitely, there's a lot of stuff I'm not doing here with this garden. Like, you got to understand what your soil contents is, and there's like certain additives that you put in, and by additive I just mean like clay or something that's less porous or more porous, because some soil, like you want, for some plants you want it to hold the water, other times you don't want it to hold the water because that makes the roots rot, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that I know exists, but I'm not applying any of that to this garden. I just, I just dug the soil, and I aerated it, and flipped it over a bit, and then I put some beans in it, and then now whenever I have coffee, when I clean out the thing, I just throw the coffee grounds on there. And then, uh, yeah, we have literally nothing growing yet. I don't think so, at least. There's no evidence of stuff breaking through the top soil layer, at least. But um, I picked chilies because it's possible that I will have some chili fruit before I leave, whereas a lot of other plants... Um, they take too long, so that, that's not a viable thing. So now that I've done this video, I've been, I've been putting off this video because I feel like it's like, oh, the wool looks all crappy. But then I was like, if I make this video, and then I do a video after I show the paint, then it looks like, oh, there's all these things on the wall, and then they're just gone, which is cool. And what I'm gonna do with these videos is once I've d gotten a good amount of them, I'm gonna put them all together and probably kind of like speed it up maybe. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do. But I'm gonna make one long video out of all these kind of mini videos that I'm making about living in Nicaragua. And uh, these will be out of my house soon. I'm not gonna just only do videos about where I live. Um, the reality is that I do videos about kind of what I'm doing in my life right now, and I'm literally completely existing in this house. Like, my, my ideas of going out are going, like, to the grocery store, which is, I love. I actually, like, really, really, really enjoy it. Um, but, you know, I don't really go out at the moment, and that's, that's not how I always am, but it definitely is how I am right now. Um, it's definitely, I really love that I can just do YouTube videos and just work on stuff and like eat food and drink tea and watch Star Wars and then sleep and then just do the same thing the next day. It's really amazing. <laughs> um, but there will be more videos showing like some of the beaches and hanging out with some of my friends. I'll introduce some of the people that I know here living in Nicaragua and they've all been here like they are like, oh, completely fluent in Spanish, like, they've, they're Nicaraguan, they're not like me. <laughs> One of them is an expat, his name's Ryan, um, but he's, he's been here long enough where he's, he's fluent. So, I, do, I don't want people to think that I just hang out with a bunch of ignorant foreigners all day, you know. <laughs> Especially, there's, there's, 
I don't know, people are going to think things regardless, but I'm learning more about the tensions that exist in certain countries, and the reality is tension is everywhere, and it's just different in different countries. But I'm babbling. All right, guys, I'll see you next video where I've finished touching up the walls, and I'm going to clean up and try and make it just look more uh, garden-like. I need to get more soil, definitely. But so in the next video, you'll see what it looks like to have this completely painted white, the whole wall completely painted white, and for the, um, the kind of little wall there to be finished off as well. And that should really help bring in some of the natural light that comes up from up there. Um, there's one thing I probably am going to do as well, and that is, you see the, the dark wall? I only painted the first tier, but there's another wall behind this white wall. And it's gray right now, which adds a lot of darkness, right? So I think what I'm going to do is just paint the rest of the stuff up there. Even though it's a weird texture, um, and you can't see it at all right now, but you'd be able to see it in the daytime. Um, I think that's going to help bring in more of the light as well. Because right now it's kind of like the, the roof. I mean, obviously there's the floor, but I can't really do anything about that at the moment. Um, you can't really see it because it's all, there's not enough light. But that's where all the leaves are. I can see them right now, but the camera doesn't pick up the light as well. Um, but behind that, there's a bunch of darkness. And so I'm going to paint everything behind all those leaves white. And that's going to help kind of bring in the green from the trees. And it's going to look really cool. I've kind of forgotten what it looked like before, <laughs> honestly. Now I'm just like, oh, I haven't changed enough to do a video. Oh, no. All right, guys. I'll see you next time, okay? Ciao.